All right, so Brandon's Daily. You see my dog walking in the background. Off to a great start already. Uh, let's talk some Brandon Staley. I find this defense to be very fascinating, and it's a defense I just I love. I'm, I'm very big on the fact. Oops, move my microphone again. Off to a horrible start. Let's shut a power ahead. Um, I'm a very big believer in the fact that the goal in football is to you know push the ball down the field, get these explosive plays. And I think the Brandon Staley defense does a great job at taking that away. You know, it's two sides of the coin. If that's what you should be doing on offense, we'll try to take that away on defense. So I want to make a video kind of just talking about this defense and how it's already impacted the Los Angeles Chargers. So let's just jump into it. So something like this is a good example of a couple of things. It's a good example of what the defense is and also maybe a good way to counteract it and also why counteracting it is so difficult. So a good counter to the counter. We're talking about a lot of different things here. Um, so basically, if you're unaware of what the Staley defense is, it's a lot of quarters coverage, but it's a, a unique way of how they do it. You know, I think a good comparison is kind of the New Orleans Saints. But what they do is, so just so you guys know how quarters coverage works, the four deep zones, sort of, you know, deep down the field, the two middle ones are safeties and sort of the two outside ones corners are covering those zones. Now, you don't want to just have your players stay deep because then you're, you know, no one's covering the middle area of the field. So you usually will have them stay a little bit shallower, maybe, you know, seven to 10 yards away from the line of scrimmage, but be very aware of the fact that a deep route could be coming. And if it is, you know, backpedal quickly, bail quickly, and make sure you don't get burned deep. Now, a difference between this kind of quarters and, you know, say New Orleans' this kind of quarters is New Orleans, what they'll typically do is they their two deep, deep safeties will stay further deep, and kind of their corners can sometimes get into the running game. Whereas with the Brandon Staley quarters defense, it's a lot of times the safeties who will run in and come in and make a play. So what's very fascinating about all this, I think, is the way it affects not just the running game, but also play action. So like on this play, the Washington football team is running play action. And so you see the route on the screen that could work. But again, keep in mind, this doesn't work as well as it might in, say, uh, you know, against the New Orleans Saints, because the corner can be a little bit more free here. Like watch, right, when this play starts, so you see that, okay, there is an opening, right? You can see how this could work, and that's why I do think play action is the best way to go against this style of defense, but it's still not an easy way to do it. So this corner on this play, this is Asante Samuel Jr., who, me personally, I had a little bit of concerns about heading into the NFL because I didn't love how he played against man coverage, or excuse me, in man coverage, but I do like how he plays in zone, and you know, this is a defense that's mostly going to play zone, so it's a perfect fit for him, so I actually think he'll be a pretty good player in this system. But I think my main point in all of this is that, so this is a good concept to beat this type of coverage, but the issue is that you have a situation right here where Asante Samuel he knows that he has a safety further deep. So if he runs in, takes a chance, and tries to knock the ball away, well, there still is safety help behind him. It's not going to be a touchdown if he screws this up. Whereas in, say, a cover three, where there's only one safety deep, you don't know if there's a safety deep there or not. He could be on the other side of the field, so you have to be a bit more cautious. And so watch how he is going to run over, and, you know, it's a bit of a high throw anyways, but uh, it's really good coverage, and I don't, I don't think it would have been a completion regardless. So that's kind of the one of the many difficulties that can come up in a defense like this is the fact that even when you run a play action and get players out of position, well, you kind of have to get multiple players out of position for it to really work, especially when the corners are good zone corners, which they appear to be in Los Angeles. Like this plays another good example, I think, of a, a relatively similar thing, although it's a little bit different. So this is not going to be a play action, but it's still that same sort of cover four match uh, defense. And what you have is a receiver who's running a route that typically works in this style of defense. But again, uh, what really works well for the Chargers is going to be their aggressive corners. Watch how right when this play starts. So again, you see how this can work. Like on paper, this makes sense. And, you know, a couple of things. For one thing, Taylor Heineke, who's the quarterback on this play, he's at the hash marks on the top of the screen, whereas the throw is closer to the bottom of the screen. So that makes it a bit more t difficult. But what Samuel Jr. can do really well, similar to his father before him, is just move in. He can run over and he has great ball skills. I mean, watch him run over and he is going to legit make that play. So 
that's kind of what this defense can do is you get those good corners and that's why it worked so well with the Rams. I mean, it worked incredible with the Rams because they had Jalen Ramsey and Darius Williams is you get those guys who can move into a high level. Well, now you have two safeties deep. This is really working very well, you would think, in terms of the passing game. Now, let's shift over to the running game. So, let's talk about this now. Because this is, you know, football strategy is circular. It really is. If you make sure you stop the pass, well, then teams can run on you. If you make sure you stop the run, teams can throw on you. That's basically football. That's how it works for the most part. And in this defense, when you do have two safeties deep... Yes, they can run over and try and get into the running game, but they're still further deep. They're still safeties. And like on a play like this, for example, it's kind of a perfect way to explain how it's really difficult to stop the run when a team is playing two safeties deep. Because you look right here with a tight end in the game, basically they can block everybody. There's only six defenders in this area on the screen right here, and you have six blockers, the five offensive linemen and a tight end who can pull over and block a linebacker. The halfback then takes the ball and runs it himself. So everyone is getting blocked here, whereas if one safety was further, you know, closer towards the middle, well, then he could also help get into the play, and it becomes a lot more difficult to run the football. And like, look, as you see, I mean, it's going to be a, a good run. Now, wasn't spectacular, but you got eight yards there and you can run the ball pretty consistently. So that's the downside of this defense. But to me, basically every defense has a downside. There is no foolproof defense. And I'd much rather have a downside like this than a downside where guys can get open deep down the field. Because eventually something like this is going to happen. Where on this play, it's again, it's a running play. And again, you have six blockers because you have a tight end in the game. And there's only six players who can stop the run. So it's a mismatch. But the issue with this is that unless you have a really good running game, eventually someone for the Chargers is going to win a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's just going to happen. And again, should probably be mentioned that, you know, this is kind of what made the Los Angeles Rams work so well is not only did they have two great corners to fit that system, but you also have Aaron Donald who can stop the run basically by himself. But Christian Covington is going to do a very good job on this play. He's the guy who I have in that box right there in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I mean, watch him really just, you know, win this matchup very well, uh, and he's going to be able to make an immediate tackle. And you get one of those, and now all of a sudden you're in a bind if you're going up against this style of defense. What do you do? Do you run the ball twice more? Well, no, you don't want to do that because you do it once. Maybe you gain five yards. Well, great. Now you have a third down and five. What do you do? Maybe you have the guts to run the ball on a third and five, but you probably don't, and therefore you're going to have to throw, and you're throwing against this defense anyways. So that's just the bind it gets you in, not to mention a holding call or something like that. So yeah, that's basically the defense, and I do think, I will have to say, I think one other way you could attack this defense, probably the best way to attack the defense, is play action with deeper routes over the middle. Now, I think one way that could fail is, you know, you have a deep route over the middle, the issue is that a corner could come in and make a play, so you kind of have to bullet it in there, but again, it's a, it's a tough defense, and that's what makes it so good, it makes it so effective, it's a defense that makes quarterbacks look bad. And uh, I do think that it's something that, you know, it's really effective. And I personally wouldn't want to have the game plan against it. I, I much prefer those teams that'll just play cover three zone all day. That that's, that's what I prefer. But that's why Brandon Staley does it and why it's so effective. I probably should mention, you know, I'm sure some people will be saying, well, there's actually more intricate details in this defense. That's true. I mean, you can say that with every defense. But what I wanted to do was just kind of give a more broad explanation of what it is, how you should attack it, and also why that's still going to be difficult to do. Uh, I do think that you will see a lot of teams run the ball against the Chargers, and that's a good thing uh, for the Chargers. You want teams to run the ball against you, and you can throw the ball against them. And I mean, you're always going to win when you're throwing and the opposing team is running. Uh, that's just how football works in today's NFL. So yeah, uh, I really like the defense. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.